Check your micro registration. Is it zeroed? We'll use all three. Remember, if it's not zeroed, see how the circle's not inside the circle? So this side needs to okay. come forward and back. Yeah. And okay. how is yours? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Now you're centered inside. So now micro registration is centered. Now we just lock it down. This gives us max movement if we have to do any adjustments after we've loaded the screen. Mm -hmm. Like such. And then squeeze here and here, squeeze the bumper, and then press straight back into the other two bumpers, and then lock it down. Uh, okay, and who's got number six? Huh? Um, the gray. Yep. The white should be seven. So evidently whoever did the art, AKA me, didn't change the number for the highlight white. Highlight white is number seven. I, I told y'all I'm eye candy. I'm not the brains of the operation. Okay, so we're looking for the zero. See right now it's not centered. So we gotta loosen and loosen. Now we center it. I'm using the back control, and you can the center, that circle, inside the circle. And the same thing with you, you want the circle inside the circle. There you go. That looks pretty well centered. And we need to double check number two okay. over there because I don't know if I did that. Okay. Now, push in and lock it down. All right, lift the screen up, flip it around, and we'll go to number seven, highlight white. Bring the head down. It's easier to bring it down without the screen in it. There we go. Now you'll slide the screen in. Did you check, make sure your micro registration is zeroed. Make sure the circles are inside the circles. Okay, so then they're not. We got to loosen the mic registration, lock down, and now we circle. I go ahead and do that other side. Get that other circle centered. That one looks pretty much centered already. Okay, so we lock the mic registration back down. That just gives us maximum movement. Now squeeze there, push in, and then lock it down. So now we'll start doing our test print, see how 